Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to today's video. For today's video, I'm gonna be talking again, it's a part two of what's in my kids' stocking. So I'm gonna be talking you through everything that will be going into Ollie's stocking. Um, Ollie is my son, he is five. I will link my other video down below where I'm talking to you about what I've picked up for Darcy. Um, she is my daughter, she is eight. So I wanted to film them separately so it's not too long. Um, and obviously you can click on the one that's most relevant to you. Um, so let's jump straight into today's video. So I hope this video gives you some ideas if you're struggling. I actually struggled with Ollie's stocking this year. Last year it was the other way around, I struggled with Darcy's stocking, um, but this year she's, um, as I said, she's eight, so she's asked for a lot of things for her bedroom. So again, I'll link that below so you can check that video out. But Ollie hasn't really asked for a great deal, so I've had to kind of like, just when I've been out and about, if I've seen something that I think, yeah, he will like that, he needs that, because I don't just want to obviously buy for the sake of buying. Um, so yeah, a lot more of Ollie's stuff you'll find is stuff that he will actually, that he can use, whereas Darcy's was more decor pieces for her bedroom. So a little bit like Darcy's, there will be a gift that I'm not showing you today because I haven't decided which one it is, but we'll pick a gift off of their Christmas list that will also go in the stocking. The stockings are on the end of their bed, so they wake up to them in the morning and that is left from Santa. So Ollie's stocking is exactly the same as Darcy's. They have matching this year looks a little something like this and we've actually got his full name Oliver on it um, we call him Ollie that's kind of like his everyday name but I just wanted it to be as it's from Santa have his full name on so yeah I paid £12 for this I'll link it below I got it off of a lady on Instagram um, not sponsored or anything I paid for it but I just absolutely love them and the quality is amazing so I'll link those below fingers crossed um, she's still got some left and you've got some time um, but yeah, let's jump straight into today's video. So don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, and I hope you'll consider subscribing. Let's see what Ollie is going to be having in this stocking. Okay, so it's currently all wrapped in this bag. Um, it looks like there's more than what there actually is, but there's a few bigger boxy things in there, which is padding the bag out. So I'm just gonna, it's not in any order, I'm just gonna pull it out and then I'll tell you obviously where it's from and how much it was. So first thing on the top, I actually got this, um, the other week when Ollie came to Aldi with me, of all places, it's a Hot Wheels um, maker kit. So I think you just, what do we do? Street racer, so yeah, you can race the car after as you pull it back and it'll go. It looks a little bit like that on the front, so he has to make the car. Um, now it says for ages six to 12, but he quite likes making things, he loves Lego. So I thought, obviously it's a little bit older for him, but I thought he would enjoy it. Um, and this was 3 Um, so yeah, that's the first thing. Next up, I've got him a bag. He started school in September, so he's in reception. Um, so he, when school goes back to normal and they have to take their PE kit in to get changed themselves, he will need um, like a drawstring bag. So I picked this one up in Primark for him. It's a Spider-Man one. Um, it's kind of like the perfect size. It's not too big, not too small comfortably for everything in he can also use it for football and he's obsessed with spider-man so he is going to love this and this was four pounds and then i picked i like to get them like coloring books like new ones at christmas so and they tend to always go in the stock in now with ollie up until very recently he's shown no interest in coloring he's more of like want to go outside want to play with his diggers play on his bike his scooter whereas darcy's very artsy she likes to color so um i did think i'm gonna just buy him something but because he's never taken to any sort of like really intricate pictures i mean he is only five i thought i would pick him up this my first jumbo coloring um i looked at it and was a little bit unsure as to whether i thought it was a little bit babyish but i just think the lines will be perfect for him um so when you look at it like this the pictures are just larger there's not so much to color in and the lines are a bit thicker so i thought this would be perfect for him to just get started and he's started to do a lot more coloring and writing obviously being at school it's something that he's doing daily so yeah i got this i picked this up at the range and this was 99 pence it's quite thick actually if you can see that has got a lot of pages in it and then to go with that, I picked Ollie up a pack of colouring pencils. Um, so these were a pound. I got these in B&M. They just look like that. And then he also has another Hot Wheels um, track. This is a primary school essentials kit. I got this from Pangland and I think this was three pounds. So it comes with a pencil case, a car, some pencils, a ruler, some 
children's safety scissors. It says from age four up, but it's just really sweet. It comes in this carry case. If I just zoom it in for you so you can see there. I was actually really surprised um, when I found this in Poundland. Uh, they've had some really lovely stuff recently, actually. So yeah, I've got him that. And obviously he's got the pack of pencils that he can also store in his pencil case in here as well. Um, and then I did pick him up another pad. This is just plain white paper. Um, this was from Poundland, so this was a pound. Now, the reason I got just plain white, so there's literally nothing on the pages that are just plain. We're practicing, um, obviously, writing all his names, his sounds, um, words. So what I tend to do is write it in a highlighter and then he goes over it. So I just thought this was ideal because it's plain. Obviously, we can pop whatever we want to on each page, whatever we're learning that day. So, yeah, he's got that also. Um, there are, so a little bit like with Darcy's, they've got one suite in their stock and they have a selection box that will be downstairs. Um, and they have a little chocolate Santa in their Christmas Eve box. But to actually go in the stock in, I picked, Darcy's got a similar one, but Ollie has the Blue Millions Sweet Machine. This was from B&M and it was 2 .99. And then to go in that, I picked up a refill, just in the strawberry flavour because that is his favourite and these were a pound. So he will have that also. Again, this um, is going to be used probably for school and on day trips, but I picked this up in Primark for him. It's a set of three lunch boxes, um, and again, he's obsessed with Spider-Man or the Marvel characters, so I thought this he would love this. And obviously, it's going to come in handy. It's something he's going to use. This was four pounds from Primark. I also picked him up a door sign, so this will just hang on his uh, the handle of his door. This was from Primark, this was two pounds. It says, um, what's the secret code, the amazing Spider-Man on that side? And then on this side, it just says, busy catching bad guys. Obviously he can flip it around to whatever he wants to be seen from the door. So yeah, I love that and it's wooden. So Primark have had a really, really amazing um, collection of Spider-Man bits in, which was ideal because Ollie has decided he's now obsessed with Spider-Man. Sticking with the Spider-Man theme, I also picked him up a money box. Look at this. How lovely is this? So it obviously it is China, so I need to be very careful that it will go in his bedroom. Um, but he started to get pocket money if he's been good, if he's done his chores. So I just thought this was perfect for him. Um, this was eight pounds, again from Primark. But yeah, I absolutely love this. And if I hold it here, it's a really good size for him. And he's going to be obsessed with it. He's, as soon as he opens this, he's going to love it. Okay, next up, I think Tom chose this. I'm not sure what it is. It's an alien wall creeper. Just a really random little thing. But he, he, honestly, it sounds really silly, but Ollie will be obsessed. This was from the range, and I think it was a pound also. So yeah, just a fun little gift to pop in there for him. Um, I've also got a new bottle for him. Ollie has um, broken a few of his bottles being back at school, so he is in need of some bottles. This was from b and I think this was £5. I've actually peeled the little um, price tag off, but it's a Spider-Man. As you can see, we're going with a theme. It's a Spider-Man theme, clearly, in his stocking. Um, yeah, they had this in b and the top is just, it doesn't have a spout, so it might be better for him if he's at football training um, rather than school. But obviously, I'll see how he gets on. He's quite good with his bottles now. So, yeah, fingers crossed that'll be perfect for him. And then I also, he has got another bottle, actually. This is from Smiggle. Smiggle have had an amazing sale on. I've got so many cute little bits for them. So this is just a dinosaur bottle, and I think this was £3.60. It does say it's for age 6 plus, um, but it should be fine. He'll be fine with it. Um, and what it is, if I just take it out of the packaging to show you... So it's shaped like a dinosaur and they can put the legs down like this so obviously they can have it led this way or obviously it was just stand up that way and you tuck the legs in and then you just unscrew the top. So again, it's an open top but how lovely is that for £3.60? Um, and it, again, because it's coated in like a silicone, it's going to perfect for Ollie. Hopefully this will be Ollie proof and if he drops it, it's not going to completely split the um, the plastic. So yeah, he's got that bottle as well. So two bottles going in his stocking, but it's something he does need and he will use. 
Okay, then I also picked up, this is a bit of a learning thing to go in there. So I got this from Aldi, it was 3 dollars It's from the brand Orchard Toys and it's a number domino. So it's a game, um, obviously it's got the learning aspect behind it. So it will help encourage him with his counting, his number recognition, which he is doing at school now. So I just thought it was perfect. And obviously we can all play this with him, Darcy can play it with him. So I like to pop things like this in their stockings also. But they, um, in Aldi, They've got them on um, Amazon as well, but this brand, Orchard Toys, they had a lot of different styles of different games and things. So they had like a counting animals one. Um, they had ones for older, so like times tables, um, adding, they had spelling, so lots of them. But obviously this was just perfect for Ollie's age and what he's learning at school. Okay, a couple of other bits that Tom's picked up. Um, this is just obviously a boy stocking. You can see he's got two whoopee cushions because, well, he's a boy and he loves to hide these in the chairs and wait for us to sit on them. And then he's rolling around the floor in hysterics. So I got these from the range. I think they were about a pound each. He's got an orange and a green one. Um, he also has another sign. This again is from Primark. It was two pound. This is going to go on his bookshelf. So if I just, it's got a... You can hang it actually, it can be a wall hanging one if you've got a little command hook, but I'll probably just have it as a shelf standing sign. So it just says, The Amazing Spider-Man, it's kind of like a comic print, um, but yeah, lovely. Really good quality as well, and it was only £2. And then I've got a couple more bits from Smiggle for him. So I got him, um, Ollie loves football, he does football training, he's kind of football obsessed at the moment. So smiggle had a lot of their football stuff in the cell so i got this key ring for him so this can just clip onto his backpack and it's actually soft so i just thought it was really cool and this was one pound 29 in the cell and then i also got this kind of band for him so it's one of those ones that if you slap it onto your wrist it will stick around and it's actually got fluffy sand in here and again it's got the football motif on it and this was no more than two pound 50 because i got it in the cell um, so it just looks like that and because it's Smiggle, it smells amazing. Um, I picked Ollie up an alarm clock and a rise and shine clock. So Ollie is our early riser. He will get up anywhere between 5.30 and, I mean, no, like 6.15 is a good day. That's a lay-in for Ollie. If he can make it to 6.15, that's a lay-in. He goes, he does go to bed early. He goes to bed about 7 o'clock. So what we thought is we'd get him an alarm clock, not that he needs it to get up on time, but just to get him obviously using his number recognition and just because he is growing up now and Darcy has one in her room and he does always ask. So I got this in the Smiggle cell. It looks like this and this was reduced from £20 to £8. So I think it has, when I've read about it, I think it has a light on it. For when they go to bed um, and if he were to wake in the night for example sometimes he does and he will come into our room if he looks at it and sees that the light is a certain color he will know it's still night time so it might help him recognize it's not quite time to get up at one o'clock in the morning for example it also has a temperature and a timer on it um and it color changes it also says the month and what day of the week it is so i just thought it'd be perfect for him with his development also and then last up, um, oh no, tell her I've got one more thing. It's just in another bag that I'll pop and get because I picked it up yesterday. But last up in the bag I've got here, again, it's from Smiggle and it's a light projector. So it's a galaxy light projector. Again, I got this in a cell and this one was £7. I think I got it in the Black Friday cell for £7, but I did just check and it is still available online. But Ollie has um, a turtle that he had when he was a baby. So it would, um, when we turn it on, it sits on his bed and it kind of mimics the ocean. So he's got waves on the ceiling with soothing sounds so I just thought this was um like a step up for that and it does the same thing it will shine it says it projects asteroids stars and robots onto your walls and the ceiling so yeah I thought that would be perfect because he listens to um water sounds on his Alexa so he could have this on the ceiling and then have his water sounds with his Alexa on okay and last up going in the stocking that I can show you today is a um 
aftershave perfume from Zara. So it's Spider-Man theme, of course. It was $7.99. He's got um, another Spider-Man from Zara, but it's in a circle bottle, whereas this is obviously a rectangle bottle. And he loves the smell of it. And we did actually test this in Zara and he asked for it. So I thought obviously it's a perfect stocking stuffer. Darcy tends to get quite a lot of um, Zara perfumes as well. And to be honest, I wear them and they are lovely. So yeah, he's got that. Okay, so that's everything that's going to be going in the stocking. Now it's time to get it all wrapped and then pop it in the stocking. Now I'm on a bit of a time crunch, so I want to get this done before I need to head out and pick them both up from school. And then that'll be another job ticked off of my list today. So let's get wrapping. It was the night before Christmas I was closing down for business In my little prison shop When the bell on the door Jingled once more And then time almost came to a stop but somehow I knew, and maybe so did you, that everything would change from now on. Yes, from this Christmas song, this Christmas song. to be it for my stocking stuffer idea video i really hope it gave you some ideas please let me know down below what you pop in your stockings i love to have ideas because as i said this year i have really struggled with ollies um but i think i've managed to get a good selection a good balance of like obviously toys some coloring some learning pieces and some bits that he's going to use a couple of pieces for his bedroom and as i said the stockings they go on their bed and so they will wake up usually what happens is they will bring the stockings into our bed room and we'll all sit on our bed and open them together before we come downstairs to open the the bigger gifts that are in the front room um but yeah i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already and i will see you in my next video so <laughs>